You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. Basketball this hour. Massive news yesterday for Breakers fans. In fact, it was late on Friday evening, New Zealand time, this news broke. Point guard Parker Jackson Cartwright has re-signed for the Breakers for the 2024-25 Australian National Basketball League season. Five seconds to go, shoots the three. Good night! Parker Jackson Cartwright silences Kudos Bank Arena. He says, Sydney, you want to see the anti-hero? Here I am. What a night this man has had. He had a lot of good nights last season. Absolutely sensational for the team. Listen to these stats. 20.6 points, 5.8 assists, 2.8 rebounds and 1.9 steals per game across 30 games. And he was also saw, uh, named rather in the All-NBL first team. So the All-Star 5, basically. He also becomes just the fifth import player to re-sign with the Breakers in the club's history. Parker Jackson Cartwright's with us. We thought this was impossible, Parker. We thought you'd be gone. Modi Mayor said last week he thought there would be a 2% chance that you would come back. Why have you decided to come back? Well, Jason, you know, there's always a chance. You know, and, um, you know, things progressed pretty quickly from the time the season ended. And I was I went through some things and found my way back. So, you know, this is this is what it is. And I'm glad to be coming back. You must have had other offers, other places who were keen to secure your services. What tipped things in the breakers favor? I think the familiarity um, of knowing obviously the team the club and having trust in Modi you know this was a a really good season for myself but also the team dealing with adversity and I just felt not the on, on the constructs of unfinished business just being in a place that I know I can flourish both as a player and as a person and I love living in New Zealand and Auckland I love playing for the breakers so it was kind of um an easier choice for me how important is that uh, that off-court stuff for you? I mean, you'll flourish as a player, I'd imagine, anyway, wherever you go. H- how important is it for you to, to flourish and to be happy off the court as well? It's super important, Jason. I mean, you know, me being the, the kind of person I am, creative, um, just like a free-flowing kind of guy, I think Auckland gives me a great opportunity just to be myself. And that was very attractive for me. You know, lifestyle, living is just as important as playing basketball for me. So it just, it goes hand in hand. And, and being in New Zealand really exemplified that. Last season for the Breakers was a, was a roller coaster. Had plenty of ups and a few downs in there as well. How do you reflect on, on your first season with the Breakers? I think it was great. I think it exceeded expectations. You know, when you... Every season has presents its own challenges, you know, and we, we went through them all, as you can see, and as everybody felt. But it was just, it was really a testing time for me, you know, and the team, and we kind of just pulled through. And the beautiful thing about sports is gaining that kind of brotherhood within amongst your teammates and, you know, building camaraderie, everything that a team setting comes with. And I think we did that as the season went on. What were the factors behind that? Because I think everybody looks for team culture and everybody in any sports team says, yeah, we've got a great team culture. We've got a brotherhood. But how do you build that and how do you maintain it? Oh, that's a good question, Jason. I mean, you some some is um, bringing in the right kinds of people. And I think that's a testament to how great of an organization the breakers are and how much of a, you know, premium they put on bringing in good people. I think it starts there. And then, you know, you have to have strong leadership. You know, we were very lucky to have Tom Evercombe, you know, a guy that just exemplifies everything about being a leader, um, a guy that has won at the highest level. So we kind of got lucky, but we had people in place to kind of push that agenda forward. And we were very blessed. And what about your coach, Modi Mayor? Can you just give us a bit of an ins- insight into the influence he, he's had on you and, and has on this ball club? Right, yeah. I mean, Modi's, his impact has been seismic. You know, he he's very straightforward. Um, 
honest and you know he he play he uh coaches with a passion i think that's very important when you're looking up to a leader and um you know we trust in him i trust in him and he's he's made his impact on being hard nosed and he knows what it takes and i think that's why his his methods and his opinions kind of stick very strongly just back to the the team aspect of this, which which fascinates me. You're you're a star player in this team. The stats say so. You'd be a star player in any team. But how important is it for you to be part of something that's bigger than just your own basketball ability, your own ambition? Jason, I mean it's it's super important. I mean to come to a club, you don't know what you're gonna you're gonna get. You know, every season, like I said, presents its own things. But the one thing that is, you know, above all, most important is winning. You know, you you come to a team with the with the intent of playing the type of basketball, anything that it takes, and that's 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 what I've always been about. I've been about winning. I've been about being a part of winning cultures, and I've won at the highest levels before. So, being a part of a club that wins and wants to win is very attractive. And the growth areas for you, I mean, I, I know that you're you're on a quest for constant self improvement. Do, do you believe you have have growth areas in your own game as well? Yes, of course. Uh, growth never stops. You know, you have people at the highest levels continuing to get better. You know, and at this this rate, professional basketball, people get better year to year. So you you have to grind. It's always a grind. It's always a competitive juice in you that wants to be better and for myself you know i play with a super big chip on my shoulder i know my disadvantage is or so and so called but i know that i play with great heart and my work ethic and that shines you're talking about your height is that what you're talking about is your disadvantage there it didn't seem to disadvantage you too much last season my man (laughs) it was in quotes (laughs) That's that was speaking for them, Jason. Like that's what they say, you know. <laughs> so oh, I love I it. it man. And so obviously you're locked in. Then uh, are you confident in your discussions with the club that that the Breakers can build a roster that'll contend for the title next season? I believe so. I believe the Breakers and Modi are always striving to build a good team, and and that was also. The thing that that I love is, you know, you're you're building a team um, of players that want to win, and, and that's super important. So, I trust in the front office. I trust in Modi. I trust in the people that are making those types of decisions. All right. Well, when are you back? When are you? I know you're you're back in the in, in LA, I believe, at the moment. When are you? When are you back in Auckland? When are we going to see you enjoying some of that famous Auckland coffee around some of your favorite cafes again? Soon, very soon. You know, I'll get some some well quality time back home and i'll be back in new zealand man before you know it parker i can't tell you how uh how much uh excitement there was when this news was unveiled in the last couple of days uh look brilliant to have you coming back enjoy your uh downtime can't wait to see you back in a breakers uh jersey or breakers singlet when the uh, new season rolls around appreciate it jason thank you for having me no thank you for joining us uh, parker parker jackson cart right there that is a huge signing for the breakers Modi Mayor, as I say, he said he'd basically, I think, given up hope that Parker Jackson Cartwright would come back because he's such a good player. And it's very rare for an import to re-sign. Just five in the Breakers' entire club history have re-signed. They, they tend to come, they play, they play well, many of them, and then they go on to their next basketballing adventure. For Parker Jackson Cartwright to come back is massive. He would have had multiple offers to go elsewhere. But to talk about the way he enjoyed being part of that team, being coached by Modi Mayor, what he found in Auckland and amongst the city and its fans, it's terrific. Great piece of business by, by the Breakers to, uh, to lock him in for another season. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.